now is like a once in a decade opportunity, in fact, to, to fix a lot of these issues systemically. So uh, I'd encourage people to get involved in that process. We need to start to have an accounting system that does reflect reality. When it's, it's taken as seriously a, a, as finance, then the board will take it as seriously uh, as finance. Decarbonization is hard. And if it weren't hard, we would have already done it. And so being transparent and being honest about our footprint is, I think, essential to help get us to sort of this end state of full system decarbonization. Scope 2 is about electricity accounting. So how do I account for the emissions associated with my electricity usage? Today, you do Scope 2 accounting using annual averages. So we're not really thinking about, is there congestion? Can this electricity actually be delivered that I'm claiming? When you actually get more granular, when you start accounting for electricity, not just on a bulk basis, but actually in the time and location in which you consume it, the actions that that incentivizes actually does lead to significant system-level carbon reductions. Today, you can access emissions data and use this emissions data in order to conduct more granular accounting based on your electricity consumption. By attempting to actually match your clean power around the clock, you are incentivized to procure the technologies that are best positioned to allow you to do that. Things like advanced nuclear power, geothermal, carbon capture systems or long duration energy storage, clean hydrogen. And so by being kind of leaders in early procurement of these advanced technologies like they were in early procurement of wind and solar back when they were just alternative energy, I think these companies could potentially have outsized impact. If we take this problem and try to say what is credible and what is driving us to net zero and what is leading to optimize projects and geographies, I think we're going to end up with a system that we can build upon and we can have the certainty we need to make these 10, 100 billion to trillion dollar investments, we need to rewire and rebuild our entire economy.